Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another very exciting video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, you are going to be learning about custom view controller transitions. So if I click this segue button, we are segue not through the default Apple's way of transitioning, instead our own custom way. So I hope you're as excited as I am. So without further ado, let's get right into code. Let's fire up Xcode. And then create a new Xcode project, user standard procedure, select the single view application template, give this a name, and then just set the language as Swift, and you're good to go. And I'm going to create it in my desktop. And into main.storyboard. And let's drag in another view controller. And select this view, and give this a background color of red. And give this a background color of orange. Then drag in a button over here. Click on this button. Then you want to change the text value of that button to segue. And then you want to change the font property of the button by clicking on this T. Change the font to custom, the family to Futura. And then change the size to 35. And then make sure you change the text color to white. And I'm going to achieve that by adjusting the RGB sliders provided in Xcode. Now click on this and press Command Plus to resize to fit. Next, click on this button. Right click and drag this into the second view controller. And click Present Modely. Now we are ready to start writing some code. So in order to allow for a custom transition object, we first need a custom class for that. So for that, we need to create a new Swift file. So let's go here and let's create a new file. Create a new Cochlea Touch class. And let's call this Slide Animator. Make sure this is a subclass of NS object. And I'm going to create it. Let me just close this just for a little bit more space. And first, we need to conform to the UI view controller animated transitioning as well as the UI view controller transitioning delegate. So let's implement these two functions func animation animation controller for presented as well as the animation controller for dismiss. For both of these functions, return self. Next, type in duration and try to find the function which is the transition duration as well as the animate transition. These are two required methods. And basically this here is asking for the duration of the transition. So for that, let's have a variable called duration in which we will store the transition length. And I want the transition to last 0 0.5 seconds. And in the code, and in the code, I'm going to return the duration. Now for the animated transitioning, I mean the animate transition, this is where actually we implement our code for animation. So let's type in our code. So first we need to get the source view controller and to get that, we can use guard let from view equals to the transition context which is passed in over here. Dot view for key and this with UI transition context view key dot from else return. Now let's copy this. And do this the same from the to view, which essentially is the destination view controller. And this would be dot two. And these are the only two modifications that you need to make to the to view. So basically what these two lines of code is saying is that for some reason, if our code is unable to get the source view controller or the destination view controller, then it will exit out of this animate transition method. So let me just explain this two lines of code. 
basically these two functions are asking for an animation object to use whenever a view controller is presented or dismissed. And in both cases, we want to return self and self refers to the slide animator, which means that whenever a view controller is presented or dismissed, we want our slide animator to be notified of these events and to be in charge of these events. Now let's define a container and this is where we are able to set up our transition. So transition context dot container view. So this is actually how we get our container. Then moving on. So let's do that. Let's define these two properties. So the first, I'm going to call this screen off up. So this is the offset property that will allow us to position the view controller just above the screen height. And I'm going to set this to CGFine transform. And using the translation X initializer, I don't want it to affect it along the X axis. So let's set this to zero. But for the Y, I want to set this to minus container dot frame dot height and the reason why you're using minus is because we want to offset the view controller up the screen height so let's do the same thing um, for the down except this is going down instead so cgf find transform using the translation x initializer zero but for this we're not going to use the minus sign Instead, we're just going to use container dot frame dot height without the minus sign. So dot height, and we're done. So now we're going to add the source view controller, which is the form view, as well as the destination view controller, which in this case is the tool view. And we're going to add both of these views to the container. So let's add that form view and container dot add sub view, and we're going to add the two view. So now that I've added, so before we actually continue with the animation, I want to position this to view dot transform equals to screen of up. So basically what this is saying is that I want to position the destination view controller just above the screen height so that we can actually slide down the animation. Now moving on, I'm going to use the animate function so now let's actually perform some really animating code so UI view dot animate so there are quite a number of functions that we can actually use but the ones we want to use is the one with using spring with damping okay let's make sure uh, yes spring with damping and basically it's the one with the most amount of parameters so the duration basically the duration is the duration that we just created the delay will be 0, 0.0 because i want this to execute instantaneously and for the spring set it 0 0.8 initial spring velocity is 0 0.8 as well for the options i'm going to define an empty array because i don't need any options and for the animation closures double click it and double click the completion as well and for this boolean variable let's type in success and over here, I'm going to type transition context dot completion transition. And let's pass in the success variable. So over here in the animations, the first thing we're going to do first is we're going to set the form view, which remember is a source view controller. We want this to slide down. So let's set the transform to be screen off down because we want this to slide down. And I want this to, as it slides down, I want it to become dimmer as well. So let's set the alpha value to be 0 0.5. Next, we want to set the to view dot transform equals to CGFine dot identity. So basically what this is saying is that we are going to restore back the original position of the to view, which in this case is in the view controller itself. And last but not least, let's set the alpha to one such that the destination view controller is fully opaque. So now let's try this on an, on an iPhone 7 and let's see how it goes. So I click the sideways button 
and the usual segue occurs. So not the slide down animation that we actually expected. Why? Because it's using the default animation and we haven't actually implemented the slide animator to the view controller. So now let's implement the slide animator into the view controller. So the first thing we're going to do is to start prepare for segue. And over here, we first need to grab a reference to the destination view controller by using segway.destination. Then we are going to pass in the slide animator. And this will be an instance of the slide animator class that we have just created. And then for the destination view controller, I'm going to set the transitioning delegate and set it equal to the slide animator. So now let's try to build and run it and see the final result. And now if I click the button, moment of truth, and I have it, it slides down instead. Excellent. So congratulations for making it to the end of this video tutorial. In this tutorial, you have learned about custom view controller transitions. And leave this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video tutorial. And let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see next in this channel. Until then, this is Ben. Peace out.